get into the fun stuff. We're going to schedule a meeting. And scheduling a meeting is really easy. We can invite everybody that we want. Um, we can plan it in advance. We can schedule a whole bunch of meetings if we want to. It's really simple. We're going to do it all from Google Calendar. So let's see what this looks like. Um, we're going to schedule a meeting, like I said, using Google Calendar. You have all the information inside of your invite to join a WebEx. Uh, let's start by going to our Google Calendar. Uh, here I'm uh, logged in as John Zumwalt. He doesn't have a lot going on in his calendar, but we want to schedule a couple classes for him to host this week. So I'm going to look at tomorrow, let's just say 10 a.m. I'm going to create an appointment. I can do most of my work from right here. So I'm going to add a title to this. Uh, let's say it's um, math class. And we just want to get together and, and meet. We're going to do that at 10 a.m. tomorrow. I can add some guests. I could add some students in here. Um, I'm just going to throw in a... Uh, couple random names in here just so that you can kind of see what this is going to look like um, and then we're going to go to add rooms and now we don't need to add a room we're not physically going to be anywhere uh, don't really need to add a location but there is this option for add conferencing so I'm going to click on the drop down button and you can see here we've got some options we can schedule hangouts meet those are um, you know they're okay but they're, there's not a lot of power there but we have WebEx meeting and WebEx personal meeting rooms um, and my pre previous sessions, I talked a little bit about the difference between WebEx meetings and personal rooms. So you can select whichever one you want. You can schedule either one of them right here. We're going to do a WebEx meeting. So I'm going to select WebEx meeting right here. And you're going to see that because this is the first time I've ever tried to schedule a meeting through Google Calendar with my WebEx information, it's going to ask me to log in. So I'm going to click on the login button. It's going to redirect me to a login page. Um, I'm going to look at this and say, yes, I want to log in using my Google account. So it captures that information. Then it asks, are you okay with viewing users in your domain? Uh, yes, I am. I want it to have access to my Google Calendar so it can actually schedule this meeting. So I'm going to allow that. Click the allow button at the bottom. It's going to process that, process that setting. It's going to log into WebEx for me and associate it to my Google Calendar. And now you can see it is populated, all of my WebEx information. So from here, um, I have the click on join WebEx meeting link with the password if needed. I've got a phone number if I just want to call in. And then I've got my host information. If I were to go into uh, one of our video rooms, I would need the host information because this will have the PIN number for me to be able to join that meeting from one of our meeting rooms in district. Um, and then there's joining instructions. So if you ever have any questions, it'll walk you through that entire process. Now, this is just a calendar invite, so you can add any other information that you would do to any normal Google Calendar invite. So I could add a description. I could add links in here. I could have a bulleted list. So if this was going to be a class, for example, I could have a list of the materials that they need to have ready. So um, be prepared with whatever I want them to bring. Okay. So I can have that in there. Again, I can have links. And I'm going to hit Save. And with this, I can send out all of my invitation emails. So everyone that I invited to join that class with me, that WebEx session, is, uh, is going to get an email invite. So they'll get an email notification, and then they'll have this invite on their calendar posted for them. So now I, as the presenter, am going to have maybe a few more options, but really not much difference. The only other option I get as the presenter is this piece right here if you're the host. Everyone else gets everything that you see on here. And that's how you schedule a WebEx meeting. It really is just that simple. It's on everybody's calendar now. WebEx is ready to go. When we get to 10 o'clock tomorrow, we can just join the WebEx meeting and we're off and running.